Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's talk is going to be exciting because we're going to talk about two of the best crypto investments of 2021. Now, if you thought they would be Bitcoin and other hyped coins like Doge, you're wrong. Well, guess what? It's going to be Ethereum and VeChain for today. Let's get straight to why we think Ethereum and VeChain will shock the world and can be considered as the best investments of 2021. We have major things in the crypto space happening. The NFT boom, the decentralized finance, DeFi boom, yield farming, and staking. All these different things are getting huge while crypto is becoming more and more accessible through PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. We have investors jumping headfirst into non-fungible tokens, which are NFTs. As you might have heard a couple of days ago, we had the record high setting completion of the Beeple NFT auction for more than $69 million for a single digital art piece. All these hyped and popular activities are being held in the Ethereum blockchain. Hence, it's made the network congested and in turn, raising the huge gas fees to process anything. However, in order to fix the issue, Vitalik Buterin says, the solution to scale Ethereum 100 times is imminent. What he said is very important. He refers to one of which is the Layer 2 solution. Ethereum Layer 2 solution is offering to move some applications built on the base main chain of Ethereum onto a second layer chain on top of it. This could definitely help boost the price of Ethereum in the short term and solve the congestion problems mentioned earlier. Binance and other competitors will lose some of their market share and we'll see Ethereum pumping again, especially if we get a launch of Uniswap version 3 at the same time. Uniswap version 3 launching is going to be very bullish for Ethereum and a lot of smaller altcoins on the Ethereum network as well. Unitokens have been moving up because Uniswap has been hinting that version 3 is ready. By the end of March, we can expect that Layer 2 solution to come out along with Uniswap V3 at the same time. We have the next stimulus check rolling out and other things like PayPal crypto merchant payments could be rolling out as well. So all bullish things for Ethereum in general. As said earlier, we had the record breaking NFT sale for $69 million for a single digital art piece from the artist people. Insane how much money some of these NFTs are going for. We're seeing new utility through NFTs every single day. Someone was just selling their house as an NFT. We're getting musicians starting to launch exclusive music and albums as NFTs. And we're going to be seeing more and more used cases coming for NFTs, which is great as it brings a lot of attention to the cryptocurrency space as well from artists, musicians, and celebrities. The more and more attention coming to crypto space, is a win-win in my opinion. Not only that, but DeFi is getting huge as well. I think it's only the beginning for a lot of this. If all the things we mentioned above are on schedule, and among other things, we're constantly getting more and more institutions involved, as well as mass adoption in general, then we can all be very bullish on Ethereum, especially leading into April. Now, let's talk about VeChain. The average person probably hasn't even heard of VeChain, also known by its ticker symbol VET. VeChain has probably gone under the radar, but it's been around for a while as it was launched in 2015. It's also by no means a small or irrelevant coin out of more than 6,000 different cryptocurrencies that are currently in circulation. At the moment, VeChain is ranked 20th in terms of market cap. VeChain is actually not a currency. It's a blockchain platform that's designed to enhance supply chain management and business processes. Its goal is to streamline these processes and information flow for complex supply chains through the use of distributed ledger technology, DLT. VeChain is a pretty revolutionary project as it gives the users control over the authenticity of the products in the supply chain from when a good is produced until the time it reaches the hands of the customer. The good is exchanged between many parties, and our current systems require trust between those hands, regarding the products being authentic and no switching or tampering in the chain process. Producers and consumers suffer an annual loss of billions of dollars because of tampering. With VeChain, 
All this can be solved. VeChain approaches 10 cents on strong fundamentals as they have Fortune 500 companies in their belt right now who are trying to develop on VeChain through a blockchain, such as Walmart of China, BYD, China's largest car manufacturer, and amongst others, they have hospitals under their belt. More to come soon, so you know there's a lot of good stuff in the pipeline. They have strong fundamentals. The cryptocurrency is slowly pushing up after establishing its presence above six cents. They need more buyers if it wants to pass its recent high of 7.2 cents, which was actually a tripled amount of price as it inches closer to the 10 cent milestone. So, we have a lot of good stuff coming. The test net for VEX exchange is coming out soon as well. With the VEX exchange test net, we'll be able to swap our VeChain tokens. It's gonna be great. They will make decentralized applications being written on the blockchain, which will be super easy to make. There's also fee delegation so that you know other companies can pay transaction fees for you to make gas fees even less. There are things in the pipeline that are increasing, and in the long term, we can believe in the vision of VeChain. But investing in VeChain should be an investment based on fundamentals rather than technicals, because VeChain is slowly moving on strong fundamentals rather than technical formations. With that being said, VeChain supporters still claim it's still early in the investment period. They claim that investment in VeChain could be extremely lucrative if we factor in the billion dollar companies that have built their projects on the VeChain blockchain. This may be true. Analysts also agree that VeChain will certainly reach the 10 cent mark very soon. However, it will need a strong bull push for that to happen before March ends. We could see that things are happening. The bull runs not over. VeChain is currently trading at around 6.6 .6 cents, which is less than 0.6 from its all-time high of 7.2 cents. However, there's still a lot of room for growth. During 2020, VeChain was consistently trading under 2 cents, and today it has more than tripled. Look at Cardano as an example. Not that long ago, it was traded at a similar price to VeChain. Today, Cardano's price is well past $1. We think VeChain can do something similar in 2021, and this revolutionary coin has a lot of room to run still. Now, what do you guys think of Ethereum and VeChain? Do you agree that they're undervalued? Let us know what your thoughts are as you do your own research in the comments below. If you're looking to learn more about finance and investing topics like this, stay tuned for our next videos. We'll touch on various other topics that are sure to interest you. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.